let me ask you a question. Do you have what it takes to become an elite crafter? Boom, but a little, little thing. I'm Kenneth Lapthorpe, the producer of Can Do Studios. And how might I challenge you to become the elite crafter? Well, it has to be done in the set of challenges which I have here on my phone, but not any old buddy can just join in. They have to be separated into groups, all right? Because some people are younger than other people and they just don't know, and it wouldn't be fair, all right? So I'm going to divide it into a lot of groups, and I wrote this down earlier, so, uh, so the first uh, stage in the build is called Pigginner. Are you a Pigginner? This is for ages 6 to 8 normally. Actually, you know what? These ranks don't have like a specific um, age group, but it's, it's optional. You know, it's optional. Alright, and this is the first rank. It means you are a total newbie at this and you don't know heads or tails from it and you're just getting started. That's basically what Pigginner is. And then you have Spider Crawler, which is stage 2 of the ranks. It means you, uh, you are familiar with Minecraft, however, you don't really know how to make epic builds. Then there is Nearly Boned. Like, you have a basic understanding of what things do and what they go and how to do stuff. Then there's Creeper Challenge. It gets a little tougher after that one. Creeper Challenge is he is advanced in almost anything that is build wise. Build wise in Minecraft. Do you think that's the end of the heart? No, it gets even harder. There's Ender Pressure, which means you get time for the challenges you do. Then there's Horse Power, which is the lever I'm personally on. Oh. Too much? Probably. <laughs> Then there's something just, just totally nonsensical for the crazy Minecraft players. That includes you too, Dan TDM, Sunday, um, Stampy Longhead, um, Cold Clop. All of you, you Minecraft YouTubers are automatically going to be bumped up to Legendary Lapis. And what Legendary Lapis is, you get to make things that is totally insane. And you have the unlimited mods at your resource, so. But do you think you have what it takes to beat the final challenge? Hardcore Hero Brine. And that is the hardest of the hard. Only then, after you defeat the Hardcore Hero Brine level, you will be named an Elite Crafter. Do you think you have what it takes to become an elite crafter? Let's find out on today's episode. So in today's challenge, I challenge all of you Minecrafters to build, wait for it, and add a drum roll effect if you want, is to create a Goldberg, a Ruber Goldberg machine. You've seen how Gold, Rube, um, blah, blah, blah. words are escaping me. You know how Rube Goldberg machines work? They use like advanced stuff and you have to create like little sections of the part. And you have to make one connect from the other. I'm going to show you an example. But you're not... You can use this, but you're not going to get an A plus by doing it. You have to create more. You have to impress me, you know? Actually, how you vote is by the fans. So, if the fans plus one your model, then it's a vote. It counts as a vote. Plus one's our vote. So, here's how I'm thinking we should, what the Rube Goldberg machine could do. Where's this button back here? So, we press this button and automatically create stone for you. Oh, actually, no, that was Reese Junction. Which is a good thing, I wasn't prepared for this yet. I hate it when it's so laggy. Then we need a redstone torch to make it continue on its way. Because without power, it's basically useless. So yes, you can do it by redstone or whatever, but it has to be a Rube Goldberg machine. 
put a redstone torch there and it still it looks like it's incomplete right well as soon as you push this button until I get there you might remember this from my one from my travel I made myself a cobblestone generator from 1.5 and 2 and it is a survival friendly one but I don't know why you should have one but there it goes and stone caught across the land and wait for it and there it is as soon as it finishes it goes across so that's an idea for a stage but this is an example you you're obviously going to have to create more so this class uh, would be probably nearly boned so if you are on the nearly boned level or up you can create a Rube Goldberg machine. Beginners welcome. <laughs> but uh, who knows? Maybe the the beginners can actually impress all of you. They'll bypass the NDDM. Hmm. We shall see. But anyway, guys, that is my elite crafting challenge to you, and I will see you here in two weeks, and we shall see about who the winner is in the next two weeks. So. Until next time, guys, I bid you all adieu.